And now we would like to present a special gift. Does everyone bring that here? Yeah. Can you special? And that the must said, Holly Captain, we ask the captain, Mr. Brendan Bornstein, to please present a jersey to must said this shame for his gratitude. Good afternoon, hockey fans, and welcome to the J.P. Seneschal Center for the first game of the Grand Falls Rapids inaugural season. We are about set to get underway. I'm hope you, I hope you were able to uh, hear and enjoy the uh, um, the ceremonies pre-game, um, bringing out uh, past uh, members of the previous Woodstock Slammers organization and the brand new Grand Falls Rapids organization and uh, we're set for the ceremonial puck drop we need a puck and there we go uh, Grand Falls mayor and team president Marcel Deschamps ready to drop the puck between uh, Woodstock or Grand Falls I did it the first time Grand Falls captain Brendan Bornstein and number 71 for the visiting Edmonston Blizzard Alex Lavoie Edmonston, the defending champions. I am Devin Judge bringing you the call tonight. It is my pleasure to uh, to call tonight's game, the first game of the Grand Falls Rapids. I've had the uh, privilege to call many of the Woodstock Slammers games, including their final one, so it is uh, always uh, an honor to call the final and first game as uh, this team embarks on a brand new, uh, brand new mission, a... Uh, packed house here this afternoon it is sunday september 16th afternoon game we're set to get underway here and uh the jp seneschal center is packed it was fun day su sunday fun day at uh at the rink there was live music as we came in uh, the parking lot today there was uh bouncy castles and uh stuff for the kids uh the jerseys being sold, uh, I mean, this place is uh, excited for a brand new hockey team and uh, excited to get things going this afternoon. Standing ovations to uh, the president, uh, Marcel, and, uh, and the team as they came out. Um, this community is ready to go, and I mean, no better way to start off than with a team that's just 40 minutes up the road. A lot of uh, Edmonston fans here this afternoon as well, so uh, we're looking forward to a, uh, a raucous game, and uh, you know, the defending champs are in town against the brand new Grand Falls Rapids. Uh, Grand Falls, uh, Brendan Bornstein uh, being named the captain. Um, he was captain coming over from the Woodstock Slammers. His assistants this year will be Mac Mindis and uh, Kyle Anderson wearing the A's for Grand Falls. This afternoon, starting in net for the Rapid, uh, Andrew Rose, the veteran, getting the start number 31 between the pipes at the other end. It's going to be Ewan McDonald for Edmonston. This is Edmonston's second game in as many nights. They started the regular season last night in Miramichi with a 5-2 victory over the Timberwolves. And uh, it was Francis Aslan getting the uh, start for them last night and the win through 60 minutes of play. So uh, the veterans started last night for Edmonston and uh, the... Uh, New face, fresh face. There are a few fresh faces for the champions um, uh, getting the start tonight. 11 returnees for Edmonston off that championship team. And we are set for puck drop. Here we go. Inaugural season is underway. Grand Falls. Your MHL team is on the ice. And uh, the first breakout gets down deep into Edmonston's zone. Puck protected, knocked out front, and chased away by Pierre Bourgogne and sent up ice for Felix Ryu. Edmonston fans, if you're watching uh, 
the New Jersey's not quite ready for the Blizzard, so they are wearing some uh, some older jerseys, and some of the players not wearing the numbers that they will be the first. Another face-off win back to the point. Uh, Carter moving the puck down into the dot, and that's a turnover. McLean's able to sweep that puck into the Edmonston zone. Melendez sending the puck behind the net for McNeil. McNeil brings it out front. There we go. First goal of the Grand Falls Rapids. Mama said these were magic shoes, and he's wearing them tonight. Number 47, Connor McLean putting away the garbage in front. McLean and Melendez working together to put the Rapids ahead. Their first goal as a team, their first goal in this building in regular season, and they're up 1-0 over. 3.25 to go now. In the first period, Grand falls up a one and nothing. Anderson leaves it, pass across. Mendes goes five hole, bangy dangy. Mac Mendes puts the team up two nothing. Sixteen forty one into the first period. And the Grand Falls Rapid have a 2 nothing lead over the... These are uh, further into the zones, and there it is. Edmonston finally getting a puck past Andrew Rose with only 1.3 seconds on the first period clock. Number 91, Gabrielle Vanier. And the referee waves it off. No goal. There was the referee and a linesman had a conference behind the net while Edmonston was celebrating. And now uh, Coach Ryan Salvis getting an explanation at the Edmonston bench. Gill is doing a great job here. Gillis. Fakes the shot, walks in, snaps a shot. That was kept out. That puck was behind Rose, and Anderson knocks it out of the air in the blue paint. Walking in along, uh, looking for the tip in, and uh, missing that in front was Morovec, and a Rapids player rocked in his own. Oh, and the Grand Falls Rapids are leading 2-0, two 2-on-1 two one developing here. Vanier with the shot and a glove save by Andrew Rose. Up and ahead, 2-on-1 developing. Morovic picks up the puck, goes shot. And another save for Rose. Stick Kyle Anderson's stick broken, and we've got a big hit in front. Mendes on Richard. And back the other way is Boulanger. He's happy to carry that back into his own zone and get another head of steam, and he's rocked at center by Burden. Boulanger and Burden now going at it, and here comes Grand Maison. We've got a tussle. Everyone's in on this dance. Blanger down on the ice of Burden and Lavoie and Grand Maison on top. All gloves have stayed on to this point. Helmets have popped off. Fabajansis takes a jab from Lavoie in the back. He turns around. Isley being shown the penalty gate. As is Blanger, Burden. Grand Maison. Fabajance is trying to get his helmet, and he's rocked by the Edmonston captain, Lavoie. And Fabajance is being shown the gate. Play, we are five on five, so everything is evened up. McNeil sends it towards the net. What a save by McDonald. Empty at the other end. Grand Falls wins the faceoff. Isley does not get a clean pass around the back of the net. And it was picked up by Vanier. 
Moved up to Richard, across to Ackerley. Tipped on the net, another save for Rose, another couple of saves in close. And that's a goal. Vedmanston finally beats Andrew Rose for their first of the hockey game. He's gone. Well, he's still hesitating. And Matei takes the puck back. McDonald forced back into his own zone. Matei trying to weave in. It gets to Boulanger and McDonald making a glove save. Net until his team gets deep into the Grand Falls zone. Now he goes, and here comes Burden on for the extra attacker. Edmonston to the corner. And we're under a minute to go in the third. Up to Lavoie, cross ice for Gillis. Gillis was trying to weave it through. That went off a couple of skates. And uh, behind Burden, Burden gets it back. Gets it down low, and the centering attempt is kept low behind the net. Grand Falls able to clear it to the boards, but not out. Big save for Rose, and it's cleared out of his crease. Grand Falls pushing here. Ryu to the corner, back up top for Lavoie. Slap shot misses everything. Gillis on the far side, throws it towards the net. Grand Falls player tipping it on net. I believe that was McKay, and Rose making the save and keeping it... Uh, and uh, Boulanger, Mendes to take the draw. Grand Maison comes in to the face-off circle for the blizzard. Grand Maison wins it back. Shot fired and just over the corner. That's it. Grand Falls Rapids get the victory in their home opener in front of a packed crowd. What a win. Andrew Rose holding it down for the home team. Given this crowd exactly what they came here for and uh, what a way to start things off. The regular season starts with a 2-1 victory over the defending champion Edmonston Blizzard. The Rapids salute the crowd. Rightfully so, this crowd was with them the whole way and uh, they gave the crowd something to get excited about tonight and going forward. Third star of the game going to team president Marcel Deschain. Connor McLean getting second star. And first star honors going to Andrew Rose, rightfully so. He was one bouncing puck away from a shutout in the home opener. He gets the win 2 1 over the Edmonston Blizzard. Andrew Rose, correct, big win over Edmonston, and uh, they just did a great job coming out in the first period. 8.40 into the first period, Connor McLean gets the first goal as a Grand Falls or Rapids from uh, Melendez. And uh, 16.41, it was Mac Mendes from Boulanger and Anderson, and that's all they would need. They shut down uh, the... Blizzard until 2.01 left in the third period when it was Morovic and Vanier cutting the lead in half, but the Grand Falls Rapids able to hold on for the 2-1 win and handing Edmonston their first loss of the season. These two teams will be back in action against each other at the uh, Jean Degg Center in Edmonston next Friday night at 7.30 p.m. So if you're a fan of either team and you can make it to the Jean Degg Center, definitely make it. It's going to be a great atmosphere. That place is going to be packed, and those tickets are going to go fast if, uh, if they have not already sold out. That game starts at 7.30, and if they have sold out, 
All the action will be brought to you on HockeyTV.com right here where you're watching us tonight. Grand Falls will be uh, back in action the following weekend with a home and home.